International monitors in eastern Ukraine are reporting a sharp rise in truce violations between government troops and Russian-backed separatist forces. A peace deal signed last year in Minsk appears to be increasingly fragile. The OSC Special Monitoring Mission is at the moment much concerned about the developments over the past days. We see in particular on the Donetsk side of the security zone a rapid deterioration of uh, the security situation with an incredible amount of ceasefire violations that we have registered. They reached over thousands uh, in different places on different days. The Minsk peace accords call for freedom of movement for OSCE monitors. That's something the organization says is not being respected. The freedom of movement is particularly restricted and prevented uh, on the area, not controlled by the government. Over 90% of the incidents there occur in areas not controlled by the government. These instances are at times very aggressive. The OSCE mission's chief accuses the Russian-backed forces of a cover-up. This comes amid repeated claims from Ukraine that Russia is still sending weapons and fighters into occupied territories. Now, this is a clear restriction of our mandate, a clear violation of the Minsk agreement, and a, it is only one reason why those who restrict our freedom of movement don't want to let our patrols go further, is because they do not want these patrols to see what is going on beyond the point they are restricted from uh, moving forward. Ukraine says it is respecting the truce and only returns fire when under attack. A military spokesman states heavy weapons pulled back from the front line could be redeployed. If we face the situation of an enemy attack, we have all the means and power to stop it. For that reason, we are conducting special drills in storage areas of withdrawn heavy military equipment. Heavy armored vehicles are ready to move at any moment to frontline positions to stop a possible enemy attack. Fighting began in eastern Ukraine in April 2014 after Moscow annexed the Crimean Peninsula. The conflict has claimed the lives of some 9,000 people.